Hey, what's up guys, Spartan here, and today I'll be going over my overall thoughts on Byleth. This will be a pretty quick little video. Um, to me, the character feels very, very slow. The character feels like a rock. I was actually pretty excited for this character because I like Fire Emblem Three Houses, and, he, and he's not like your... Your 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 compl the, the complaints are he's an anime sword fighter or he's like just your average Fire Emblem character. I don't think that he's your your average Fire Emblem character because of his different move sets and what the character can do. But there are some things I like to point out uh, real quick. The pros are, with this character is that he can he can kill extremely early, um, and he's definitely going to be one of these characters that in neutral he's just going to just sit, stay out here. And just poke every once in a while he may go for like a grab just to set something up um, grabs for some odd reason doesn't really confirm into anything it may con it may confirm into up air um, but it seems it, it 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 seems to me that like you're not gonna get really too much anything off off, off of the grabs um, another thing as well with the grabs is that th there is no kill throw on this character um, even back throw I thought back throw would be because this looks like a Mario uh, type of back throw where you like to spin around. Um, it is not. Um, everything with his throws are really bad. His grab range, of course, is terrible. Um, Sakurai basically made this character to be in the mid range and a little bit in the long range because of the bow. Um, his projectile is okay. Uh, you can snipe people with this from off stage. Um, the problem is that it's a very, very, very slow startup. Uh, for the actual move i've seen some people get the actual charge shot off um i st i still think this is extremely impractical by any by any stretch of the imagination sure it can break shields sure it can do 34 percent um sure it can kill really early the problem with this move is is that guess what you can just jump over it um i think that the only practice the, the only practical thing that you can do with this move is that if they do let's let's say if your opponent burns a double jump um you can basically time it out where you can actually get this move off on someone you can so like it does have some practicality to it but i but that's that's the only practical thing you can do with this move um you can twist with it you can do all kinds of like like shenanigans like off stage kind of stuff um but i don't think it's still like a a very a very, a very practical um move overall um his tilts are very good um up tilt can actually combo into itself at zero um so i can do like a like a little 24 percent but, but but you have to get the uh, the back hit of it so what i would do is i would run up flick flick your move stick to the left or to the right like however your opponent is being faced so you can get the little slide and then up tilt twice um you may be able to get an air off, maybe. Um, so, his one of his tilts can combo into itself. Um, F tilt seems to have very good range. Same thing with up tilt as well. I forgot about that. Um, and down tilt, I thought down tilt would be a combo starter. It's it's really not. Um, it sends at a very weird angle, for the most part. Um, and actually up close. It, it's weird. You would think that the sweet spot, which would be at the tip of the, um, the actual whip or sword, would be the combo starter. It's actually not. Um, the closer that you are, the more likely that you are going to get a combo starter. See? Like, it, it makes no sense to me at all um, why they did that for the character, but they did. Um, so kind of a kind of an annoyance in some ways um because like if you space it out correctly you should be able to get something off um even a high percent i don't think you can even get anything off of this into like up b um which is very strange um another thing about um his 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 tilts as well they seem to be good check tools as far as f tilt and up tilt up tilt for sure because up tilt's a very good um sharking tool and, and to keep people check uh, whenever they do land and like you know like you kind of force them and to see like how they play on platforms same thing with f tilt f tilt's good just to as, as a good like throw out move um the problem is okay i say it's a good move to throw out 
it's a good move to throw out because it does have a lot of range. But as soon as you're in this little area right here, where like they're really, really close up, and you throw F Toad out, if they shield that, you're going to get punished. Um, a lot of his moves are extremely laggy. Um, I don't think this is a good thing. I think it needs to be buffed, in my opinion, um, especially on his tilts, because these moves are pretty quick moves, especially down tilt. If down tilt got the buff where it had less lag, this this would be an actual combo starter from up from from up close to you know like at, at the actual sweet spot of it um so again like again like this character my 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 main complaint is that this character feels like a rock he feels very 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 slow um nair is is, is pretty good i've seen some people getting nair off of nair off of nair for nair for nair um, I wouldn't put too much stock into that though, because you can, you know, like easy DI out of it, uh, for the most part. Um, as a very weird hitbox as well, um, and you and you can easily just like move through people with this move. As you can see, like I tried doing the nair there and there. Um, I'm not used to the combo yet, but um, as you can tell, like you can get it off. Um, let's see, special moves. Um, side B seems to be a pretty decent move. Uh, the thing is, is that if you block it, you're in a tremendous amount of lag. Oh my gosh, you're in a tremendous amount of lag. Um, it's, I wouldn't, I wouldn't use this move too, too much, uh, because as you can tell, <laughs> it's so, so laggy. If you block this, like you're going to eat some percentage because you're really, really laggy. Um, so just keep that in mind for side B. Side B is a... Uh, it can also be used as a recovery tool, um, as, as as for coverage and as for like a stall move. So it does have some like legitimacy there. Um, let's see what else. Um, up special, very good recovery tool overall. Um, it can recover extremely low, very very low. Um, and even if you don't hit the ledge, let's see if I can get it. Even if you don't hit the ledge. You can still stick on to, to the actual walls of the stage and still get back up. So it has a lot of vertical um, potential to getting back up. I still think that they kind of suck at recovering just simply because um, if you hit them far enough and, and at an angle, you don't, even, you don't even have to go after them. You can just let them die because like they, their airspeed is terrible. Um, like it's so bad. I don't. I don't think Belmonts are this bad. I don't think they are. Um, but whenever I play with Byleth, like, like I feel like I can't move uh, most of the time. So um, another thing as well, um, projectile. Like I kind of. Well, actually, I don't think I've ever mentioned the, uh, the arrow. The arrow is like okay. Um, it can kill, yes, and you, and you can catch people, you know, you know, off guard with, with the uh, charged one, but it's not practical in my mind. Um, the normal one is for sure. Uh, the, the the charged one, I can see maybe one practical use of it if they burn their double jump, and if you want to catch them with the charged one, you can, uh, because now they're put into a situation where they have to now like you know time their air dodge pretty well. Um, and if you don't watch out, you like, you'll just die. Or if you land and if you use your shield, like you could get a shield broken. Um, and then down special, which is the, uh, the Falcon punch. And it's, 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 it's like a day one thing where it's like, oh my gosh, this thing's amazing, but it really isn't. <laughs> it really, really isn't. Um, you can tank a hit sure. And you can get off some kills. Like this move has caught me off guard a couple times. But it's a move where, like, I can just not have to worry about, for the most part, because I'll just move away. And, and, like, I'm playing Belmonts anyway, so, like, I'm going to outrange you anyways, and I'm not going to worry about this move. Um, so, again, it seems a little bit impractical, but not too impractical. Uh, let's see, what else? As far as his aerial goes, um, poking, fair, and bear. Uh, bear can kill really, really early if you get tipper. Um, up air, really good at anti-airing, and then down air is like the Hail Mary, oh, I got you, and I did 22%, and this move kills 
really, really early. So that's why like, one of the good things about Dare. One of the most redeeming qualities about Dare is that you can kill really early with it. And that's a, and this is why I think Dare is really good. Um, it does have a lot of startup and a lot of end lag. But if you get the read and if you get the hit, like you're going to be very well paid off because this move does kill pretty, pretty early. Um, another thing too is that um, the smash attacks, uh, they also kill extremely early. Um, up smash is a very good sharking and um, anti-air tool. Um, and it comes out pretty decently fast. It also hits below or like you know opponents laying down so it's like it's it, it's really good against short characters uh f smash really strong this move is so so strong and if you angle it it does even more damage and more not back so things things to just think about i thought that this move would hit um uh below ledge whenever you do like you know edge guard them um or like ledge trap the problem with this is that it does but it's a very incon uh, it is very in inconsistent uh you basically have to it's it's very character dependent you want to pick a character or like you want to ledge trap or you know like get the early ledge trap kill with F, uh, down with f smash on a character whose head comes above the ledge just a little bit so for example pikachu um, his head comes up uh, just a little bit of above ledge. You can actually get the early kill on Pikachu with this move. Um, I would never go Pika um, go by th you know against Pikachu with this character because he's just he's so so slow. <laughs> um, but just to put things into perspective and like what I mean as like an example. Uh, let's see. So you get F smash, you get up smash, okay down smash. Down Smash is also a very good, like, Hell Mary move, and it kills really, really early and does a lot of shield damage. Um, as you can tell, it does, it almost does 30 damage. Um, of, and, like, and, like, that's not charging it. Uh, this move can kill really, really early. Um, I believe this move can kill at around, like, 60, like, 65, 66%. If you have it, like, charged just a little bit. Almost. It's almost there. But this move can kill really, really early. Like, really, really early. So, again, a lot of these things with these characters... Like, this can... Okay, it's, it's weird. This character feels like Ganon. Like a bait-and-punish character. But it's kind of like a poke character. Um, do, you know how, like, do you know how, like, um, Ganon throws out Nairs a lot? Because, like, it's a pretty safe option, like, for the most part. Has very little end lag to it. But it's mainly used as just like, I'm getting in closer, I'm getting in closer, I'm getting in closer. And, and, and it's also used as like a check move for the most part. Bythe feels like that. Bythe doesn't really have a move that they can just like run in and then just do. Um, it like, like, like they just don't. Um, I feel like this character really, 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 really needs some bread and butter moves. Um, again, char characters who do well in this game have a plethora of bread and butter moves different ways to play them not just like one or two different ways but like you know three four five different ways of playing them and they have some redeeming unique quality about them that is somewhat gimmicky but it's not too gimmicky um that's why i think joker in my mind even though like he got nerfed in the last patch um i still think that he is one of the most fun characters to play and i've and he, and and people might disagree on like whether or not he's like the best character in the game. The reason why I still put him at the best character in the game still is because the the many different ways of playing him, and you can see that with MK Leo. MK Leo plays play, plays with that character very very strangely, and I don't see a lot of Jokers playing the way that he plays Joker. And the reason why is because MK Leo knows how to play the character, like like he knows how to play Joker. Um, and he knows that there's many, many different ways you can play Joker, and he plays it very, very well. Um, with Byleth, there's only seems to be, like, maybe one way of playing <laughs> and it's very linear. Get a poke in. Hopefully, like, you get, like, a very strong a, 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 a hit in, 
and it does a lot of damage and it can kill early. Um, a lot of these moves are Hail Mary moves. Hail Mary. Um, Hail Mary. Uh, definitely Hail Mary. Um, even the bow, to a certain extent, is like a Hail Mary move. Hopefully it'll hit and hopefully it'll kill you. Um, he does have some juggle moves that are like really, really good. But to me, this character is really, really bad. <laughs> Um, this character does have some trouble landing as well. Um, I don't think it's as bad as people are saying that it is. Uh, because, okay, look, I play as Belmont. Belmonts are, like, really, really bad at landing, except for, like, maybe Dare and, like, Fastball Nair. Um, and this character has, like, kind of like, the same problems as, like, Belmont does. So, like, I don't think it's, like, too, too bad. But he can land with Nair. He can land with... Uh, actually, he can use Dare, like, hella nice. Um, Dare is extremely scary. Like, like... Like, if you come after him with Dare, he's going to, like, just swat at you and do, like, 22%. And now you're in a horrible position. Because now he can just up air you. <laughs> um, but my overall thoughts on the character is that the character does need some buffs. The buffs that I wish that he would get is definitely air speed buff. Um, also, like, the, the character's jump height is terrible. Um, but I do think that this character does need an air speed buff for sure. And more bread and butter combos. I don't know what those bread and butter combos would be, but de but definitely something that is basically like a the bread and butter combos that I would like to see on this character is a quick move to start off as, or, or like or like a move that you would that you can you know see as 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 a combo starter, um, and then basically lead into you know something like that. That wasn't true, by the way at all that wasn't true <laughs> that wasn't true that's why i think down tilt it, okay actually no it, it is it is it, it is true it's true up close still yeah it's true up close it should not be true up close no come on um but again um okay so it is kind of true far away um i feel like you can di out of this though um yeah it's like, I think that the character desperately needs something to his toolkit to make him, like, way, way better. Um, and and all, all it comes down to is just less lag. Um, the startup on these moves aren't too, too bad. It's just the lag. The lag is terrible. Um, so, that's all that he needs as far as, like, buffs go. Um, let me know down in the comment section uh, whether or not you like this character. To me, I like the character. Like... I was actually kind of happy whenever they announced them, because uh, I like Fire Emblem Three Houses, but the character sucks. <laughs> like, like I like, I was I was like, okay, I have to learn a new character now, and then I played them, you know, I played against them as Belmonts, and I was like, this character is easy. Like, this character is legit easy. Like, I don't, I, I feel like I'm not, like, like, like I'm getting away with a lot as Belmonts against this character. And the characters that I get away with a lot as Belmonts are usually low tier characters. Low to somewhat mid tier characters, I get away with a lot. You know, as Belmonts. And I felt like I was getting away with a lot, you know, like against this character. <laughs> so that's that's what I think needs to be changed about the character. If you if if let me know what changes that you would like to make to this character and Tell me about your experiences against this character or playing as this character. Maybe there's something that I'm missing with this character that is like, like, oh my gosh, God tier like. Uh, but to me, I feel like this character is not too great. So anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. If you want to see more co content like this in the future, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. That way, whenever I do upload a video, you guys will be able to see it. So anyways, thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.